Hey everyone, it's Jeannie here. Today, I'm so glad to be joined by Emmy award-winning journalist, Paula Farris, former GMA anchor and co-host of The View. She has the new Access More podcast series and with uh, ending 2021, has this really cool top 21 of 2021 uh, series that's going on right now. Paula, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> yes, uh, we needed this season. I'm always like, more this, uh -huh. more light, yeah. more Christmas songs. I love it. Yes, exactly. So, all the Christmas songs and all the apple cider and all the cookies and all the lights and all the happiness, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> before, amen. before January comes. <laughs> I know. Oh, and then we buckle up for another year. Great, <laughs> it's great. Been, it's been a ride. Mm -hmm. So you're doing the top 21 of 2021 right now on Access More with your husband. You're co-hosting with yes. your husband. How's that been? Well, you know, he was tough to wrangle because he has an <laughs> agent and his feet. No, I'm kidding. I, I'm so excited because I launched this podcast, the Faith and Calling podcast with Access More in February, which has just been a beautiful outlet. Um, it's an opportunity to have really laid back conversations with influencers about what they're called to do, who they're called to be. And um, when Access More asked me, they're like, OK, you know, your bread and butter was news and being a journalist for so long. Why don't you do a Barbara Walters style top 21 of 2021? And I was like, sure, I'll do that. I'd love to do that. But I don't want it to feel like a news report. I need a co-host. Who do hmm, who do I work well with? And I was like, I'll bring my husband in. And <laughs> I like to have that counterbalance because I'm bringing a unique perspective in that it's probably a little bit more fact based um, and stats based and like here's what's happening. And he kind of brings the color commentary, the everyday uh, perspective. He's the everyday guy. You know, he works in real estate. So he's not a journalist. So we work really, really well together. And it's a very conversational approach to the top 21 stories of 2021. We're having a great time. Yeah, he's a natural. Honestly, I was listening to the podcast and you guys are so obviously you're married. So something works, right? <laughs> but, but to be, you know, to be doing kind of a radio show kind of thing together is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you, which top 21 stories uh, after going through everything or, or looking through everything were kind of in your top? Um, I know you break it down with people, places and things, which I thought yeah. is really cool. So yeah, yeah, can yeah. you share with us? Yeah, so we're doing the the seven people that caught our attention, the seven places that had us talking, and then the seven things that um, kept us going. It's just been such a nice mix between like pop culture and hard news. And it's crazy to think when you're looking back, when, when we were in research mode, Jeannie, trying to figure out and determine which were the most trending stories, uh, not just the stories that everybody was talking about, but also the stories that we want people to hear that maybe you didn't hear. Uh, it's crazy to think that all this stuff happened in 2021. Um, but I think, you know, some of my favorites are, you know, like the emergence of Ted Lasso. And, uh, you know, my, this is my husband's wheelhouse is the pop culture, uh, the, the pop culture genre. Um, <laughs> But I like, you know, following, you know, just getting caught up on the space race and everything that's happening um, to get to space. Um, and the the seven things that kept us going is going to be a really fun episode because we're going to look at social media trends and how TikTok has kind of taken over and, you know, going back to the office and what remote working looks like, which is what you and I are doing right now. Yes, we home, are. Right? <laughs> right? So I just, it's, for me, I don't know if it's just one story. It's just more of like, wow, I can't believe all this happened in the last year. And sometimes you don't really... In order to go into the next year like full hearted and grateful, I think it's it's good to just assess what we've all gone through and what has happened. So I hope, you know, it's a it's a very forward looking um, conversational look at what's happened. So it's hard for me to pinpoint just one. I just I, I'm going in just having going through this process has made me really grateful for everything that we have all gone through this past year right. going into the new year with uh, expectant and grateful hearts. Was there like a theme or something that you kind of saw weaved throughout it? Um, some of the themes are, you know, I, I think some of the dominant themes are just this new normal. Um, and, and because, you know, you're trying to segment people, places and things, but there's so much overlap. 
uh, between a lot of these that they're not mutually exclusive. They're really working together. Right, but for me, right. the common themes are, I think people just want something different, you know, that, that the pandemic forced us to question what we were doing and why we were doing it. Look, I blew up my life and moved to South Carolina, a rural town and of 2,800 people from New York City. So wow. I think it's just been, um, it's been this past year has been, okay, so 2020 was crazy. 2021 is kind of like, we're, we're, we're figuring out what's important and we're putting that into action. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just trying to navigate our new normal and what that new normal looks like. And for a lot of us, that new normal, we don't wanna go back to the old, right? Uh, right. We wanna find a new way forward. And that's yeah. why I think one of the common themes that I found in a lot of the stories that we're talking about. Well, that's exciting because I, I do think there's a form of PTSD that kind of is associated with 2020. Yep. So, yep. yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's great. You know, it's encouraging <laughs> to hear yeah. that here we are all in our own different unique ways, just trying to figure out put life back together after that. Sure, sure. And I think it's given it's been empowering in some senses, because I if, if you're in the workforce um, or whatever you're doing, you're like, I don't want to go back to the old. And it's it's given us this emboldenment that maybe we didn't have before. Oh, wow. Just because that's the way it was doesn't mean that's the way it always has. Right. To, it has to continue right. to be. So let's embrace that. Let's embrace this kind of this this empowerment and emboldenment that this moment in time has given us. Right. And, mm -hmm. and, and create a new way forward for all of us. Yeah, love that. So I've I've really loved listening to your Faith and Calling podcast. Um, you. I, I, you know, I do faith journalism as well. And um, it, you know, for me, I think it's so needed to hear conversations about faith and hear celebrities and influencers talk about their faith. Mm -hmm. Can you first uh, kind of share why you wanted to do it? And then um, just really, how was it possible for you to get some of these Hollywood folks to kind of get vulnerable and talk <laughs> about, you know, something that's kind of taboo sometimes? Right. Uh, well, I'm very persistent. My nickname growing up <laughs> was Paula 20 questions because I just wouldn't shut up and stop asking. So I have, I, God just gave me this, this, this persistent gene. I guess it's a gift. I, I also say I'm a little nosy, um, but no, I just have this tenacity that God gave me and um, I've tried to use it to my, as, as a strength, but it, it's, it's crazy how it all happened. You know, when, when God really gave us the sense of peace that we were supposed to stay in South Carolina and leave New York city, we weren't sure what was on the other side of it. Like so many other Americans, they're just like, okay, I need, I need something different. I don't know what that's going to be. And so we're down here in South Carolina. And then um, we decide to take that move and take a, take a step of faith towards this. And God just opened the door out of nowhere. I got a call from Access More, who's um, uh, sisters with with Love and Air One, if you're familiar with them on the radio. And they're like, would you consider doing a podcast? And I was like, yeah, actually, but can I do it from my house? And I knew that my job at ABC was coming to an end. And so God just opened this door and I, um, it, I love having conversations. I love to talk to people. Um, I've always been a conversationalist and interviewing um, in terms of journalism, like that's really what I love about journalism is those sit down interviews, not so much, you know, reading the news, right. the, the night <laughs> news, like that's, that doesn't get me going. What gets me going is like talking to people and finding out what their pain points are and what their struggles and what we can learn. Uh, there, it, we can find strength in their struggle, right? So I love to tell, I love to tell people stories and to, to kind of get a side out of them that other people don't get a chance to see. So that's why um, I wanted to do the podcast, the Faith and Calling podcast. And we really, yes, it's through a faith lens because I am a Christian and I'm a believer um, and I'm uh, asking other people to open up um, about their faith. Um, not everybody that comes on the podcast is a person of faith like me, but I, but the stories and the conversations are through my faith lens. So, and I think it's important to sit down with all types of people, but talking to these influencers of people that have accomplished great things in the world, but really peel back the layers and find out how they got there, you know, why they were called to do this, who they're called to be. And, and there's so many commonalities 
um, in all of us, the fear and the anxiety of, am I qualified to do this thing? Um, am I capable? Like, it's really crazy when you peel back those layers and you have these conversations. And those are things that we all deal with. It doesn't yeah. matter what the stature is. And so, um, but I want to tell those stories through a faith lens. So that's, I'm, I'm really grateful for this outlet and um, grateful for the people who I've coerced to come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Is it different for you? Um, you know, you've interviewed people, you know, in all different lenses in a sense, right, but right. for this podcast, for sure, it's, it's through the faith lens. Is it different? Like, does it feel, do you kind mm -hmm. of feel a difference in the conversation? There's a definitely talking? a difference. Yeah. There's a difference in the conversation, you know, working at ABC for nine years and GMA, like I, I've never hidden my faith. People have known that I'm a Christian. I wouldn't say that I've always nailed it as a Christian, right? I haven't always been the greatest None representation, but, um, but it's, it, I've never been able to separate my faith from who I am because it's such a foundational core part of who I am. So it just feels really natural to have these conversations because my faith isn't, oh, this thing that I do on Sundays, or I go to my small, it's really who I am. And it's the, the yeah. core of everything that I do. So it's very, very natural. And I invite people that don't necessarily, allow, like I had my former co-anchor, Dan Harris, we anchored GMA and he's an agnostic Buddhist, you know, but I had him on the <laughs> podcast too. And, you know, so it's through my, and, and we have these great conversations about faith, you know, and my faith and, Dan just left ABC after 20 years to pursue something that was a little scary for him. He's an entrepreneur now. So you can see how those common themes of faith and calling really weave themselves into all the conversations. And I just want people to feel encouraged and empowered and entertained. And they're just really inspirational stories that I'm very, very blessed and honored and grateful to share. Well, we're grateful. And I know you have a second season coming out. So is there something specific that we can expect from the second season? Um, more uh, incredible guests. And I think we're, we're what we would love to do, and you're hearing it first, we'd love to take it on the road a little bit and do some, um, some live shows. Awesome. I, love, I love live television. I love the live interaction with people, um, the live interviews. So we're hoping to take it on, on the road um, in probably Q2 or Q3 and excited for that but we have some really incredible guests lined up for uh 2022 and i i i always welcome the listeners to give me their feedback on my instagram you know let me know who you want to who you want to hear from i'm all ears so because i also like to get out of my own echo chamber i think you guys might want to hear from somebody but you're like eh, not so much how about this person <laughs> so i i'm always open to recommendations that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for, you know, using your platform to, to share the faith that, you know, your faith, I think we need it more than ever, the hope mm -hmm. that we have in Christ. And um, right. you're a witness, even to those that don't share your faith, <laughs> you're being a witness. So I'm grateful for you. Oh, thank you. Well, we are called to, we're called to shine our light no matter where we are, right? And light shines mm -hmm. in the dark places. So just shine and allow yourself to be used by God wherever you're placed. So. Love that. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, just Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, I, I'm, I just encourage people to um, spread the news and share the podcast with others. And I do want to mention I am I'm launching a media company in January. So that's something that God has put on my heart uh, to do to really advocate and champion and celebrate the working mom um, so that being a working mom can work. So there you go. We, you know, the burnout, right? And the exhaustion and the yeah, guilt. my kid, my kid is two months. So I'm just oh, yeah. experiencing it. I'm like, right. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. And, it, and it's, it's interesting. Um, so carry media is the name of the media company. And we want to help carry moms through these important moments of change, but we really want to beat the drum for, for working moms and celebrate and champion them through our disruptive storytelling. So Pray for that, that I could continue to could continue to steward that well. And we launch in January with a weekly newsletter that's just for the working mom. You can sign up on caringmedia.com. Well, go. I can't wait. I'm signing up as soon as I can. <laughs> really, I need it. Thank you so Aww. much, Paula. 
Thank you. God bless everybody. Thanks for having me, Jeannie. I appreciate it. And congrats on your baby.